viewers how are you so today we will be discussing about the radiology pointers or mcq that is part 1 because if i include every radiology pointers or mcq it will be very big video and i want to restrict it within 6 uh, minutes or uh, some so in uh, each pointers in each part i will be discussing uh, uh, i think 5 uh, 4 to 5 pointers i will be discussing so let's go So first is pneumothorax. What is pneumothorax? It is abnormal collection of air in the pleural space between the lungs and the chest wall. You can see the radiological images. That is X-ray. Now, what can be the symptoms? Like chest X-ray, shortness of breath, and the radiological features like in chest X-ray, chest X-ray it will be visible visceral pleural edge in is seen in very thin sharp white line, and low or uh, no lung markings are seen peripheral to this line. Peripheral space is radiolucent compared to the adjacent lungs. lung may completely collapse meristem should not shift away from the pneumothorax unless a tension pneumothorax is present and uh, subcutaneous emphysema and pneumo mediastinum may also be present you can see the x ray chest x ray that is present on your screen and on ug what can be seen like barcode or stratosphere sign typically found in patient with pneumothorax in the pleural line the lung Sliding is abolished, and the sand-like appearance beneath the pleural line is separated by parallel lines, which is termed stratosphere or barcode sign. Coming to the next pointers, you can see the arrow is marked. I will uh, give one MCQ like pulled up sacrum is seen in the option may be ileocecal TB, carcinoma, carcinoma uh, sacrum, intussusception, carcinoma. So the answer here will be ileocecal TB. Why? Because ileocecal uh, tuberculosis is the most common site of gastrointestinal tuberculosis, which in turn is the third most common site of extrapulmonary tuberculosis. Pathological sign can be like morphologically uh, ulcerative, hypertrophic, ulcerative hypertrophic, and in barium study we can see like acute subacute stage. You can see narrow in the terminal ileum, thickening and gaping of the ileocecal valve, thickening and hypermotility of the cecum. in chronic stage you can see ileocecal valve appear fixed rigid and incompetent cecum appears conical in shape and shrunken in size pulled up cecum that is away from the right iliac fossa due to uh, fibrotic changes in the mesocolon and the annotated image shows that is present in your uh, screen here the yellow line you can see indicate shrunken cecum and the red arrows indicate stricturing and narrowing of the terminal ileum and ileocecal Junction in the blue arrow, you can see proximal ileal dilatation. Now coming to pointer three, that is pneumocephalus. This is a CT X-ray of brain, CT of brain pneumocephalus. Now what is pneumocephalus? It is the presence of intracranial gas in the vast majority of cases. The gas is air. Etiology can be mechanical trauma or instrumentation like neurosurgery, extra uh, ventricular drain insertion, <coughs> sinus surgery, or epidural anesthesia. Barotrauma also can be, and it can be autogenic pneumocephalus and meningitis from a gas-forming organism that is very rare. The radiological features it can be gas on CT will have very low density that is I think 1000 Hu. Mount Fuji sign is seen in the cross-sectional image and is indicative of the pneumo uh, tension pneumocephalus. The presence of gases that is pneumocephalus between the tip of the frontal lobe with a Heaped up appearance, giving the silhouette-like appearance of Mount Fuji. The appearance of the sign often warrants immediate surgery to prevent permanent neurological damage. Coming to pointer uh, four, that is MCQ. Uh, let me discuss one. Uh, you can see the CT scan on your CT brain on your uh, uh, screen. The CT finding is acute subdural hematoma. Is crescent shape hyperdense lesion, biconvex hyperdense lesion. by concave hypertense lesion or eccentric shaped hypertense lesion the answer will be eccentric shaped hypertense lesion you can see the ct brain on your on your screen now the subdural hem the hemorrhage hdh also known as subdural hematoma is a collection of blood accumulating in the subdural space the potential space between the dura and the arachnoid matter of the meninges around the brain subdural hemorrhage are believed to be due to stretching and tearing of the bridge cortical veins as they cross the subdural space to drain into adjacent dural sinus radiological features can be classic appearance of the acute subdural hematoma is crescent shaped that is already told you in the mcq also it is discussed homogeneously hyperdense extra axial collection that 
extra axial collection that spreads diffusely over the affected hemisphere. Now, what is the treatment and prognosis? Treatment depends on the it depends like primarily on the amount of mass effect and the neurological impairment caused by the collection and thus the quality and the size of the subdural hematoma. Now coming to the fifth and the last uh, pointer uh, without uh, delaying your time because five minutes or six minutes is uh, more than enough uh, so that we can uh, divide into parts and more pointers I can show you. So coming to the fifth pointer that is string of pulse sign. The string of pulse sign or bears can be seen on the upright or the decubitus abdominal radiographs in patient with small bowel obstruction. You can see the image, radiological image in your screen. It con consists of a oblique or horizontal oriented row of small gas bubbles in the abdomen, which represent small pockets of gases along the superior wall of the small bowel that are trapped between the valvulae uh, conubitus. The inferior margin of the bubbles have an overt appearance due to the the meniscal effect of the intraluminal fluid. Now, the small bowel obstruction, small bowel obstruction accounts for 80% of all mechanical intestinal obstruction that can be due to congenital or acquired. Acquired may be due to the uh, extrinsic causing like compression, intrinsic or luminal. Abdominal radiograph in most cases, the abdominal radiograph will have the following features like uh, dilated loops of small bowel proximal to the obstruction. Uh, in uh, we can see that uh, rule like 369 rule in the pred and also the predominantly central dilated loops three instances of dilatation uh, it that can be more than 2.5 to 3 centimeter and uh, valvulae conveyors are uh, visible gas fill level if the study is erect especially suspicious like if more than 2 5 centimeter in width in the same loop of bowel but at different height like more than 2 centimeter difference height however the obstruction which may be high grade mechanical obstruction may also be present with the following feature like gasless abdomen, gas within the small bowel is a function of vomiting, nasogastric tube, NG tube placement and level of obstruction, strings of beard sign like small pocket of gas within the uh, field, uh, fluid filled bowel, small bowel, the string of pileups when present in the appropriate clinical setting is virtual diagnostic of small bowel obstruction. You can see the image showing that uh, beards like uh, pulse present so it is small bowel obstruction. So that is for today. More we will discuss in part two. Thank you.